every person that I met be coming down here and all their main focus is the party. And next thing you know, the next time I talk to them, they be like, I'm moving, I'm moving to Houston, girl, yeah. I be like, sweetie, I, nobody said to come, nobody said to move here. Well, good afternoon. It is Sunday, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, but you can call me Jess. Do not call me Jessie because I do not like that. As you can tell, I am starting my vlog off properly. Um, this is at the very beginning of my vlog. Um, and I'm starting it about to get out my car. Like, I'm literally about to step out my car. But anyway, uh, we're about to get to this shopping. And uh, I'll pick y'all back up periodically. Just enjoy. You just enjoy shopping and hope you guys are having a great Sunday or had a great Sunday because by the time I uploaded it, Sunday has already passed. Sunday and we're actually getting ready to eat pizza for dinner I don't know if you guys have this place in your city but it's called mod pizza and I love it because you could put your own ingredients fresh ingredients on it um, I do like traditional pizza places like Pizza Hood and I even like them great value pizzas from Walmart just to be honest I like DiGiorno's too so but when I want something kind of like thin crust with a lot of toppings on it, I definitely go to my pizza. My pizza has like salads and stuff like that. But baby, this is my last day. <laughs> this is my last day and I'm going to do it up with some pizza because tomorrow I'm back on it. I know Tuesday I'm going to give myself grace because that is Fat Tuesday. But y'all... <laughs> I gotta have my pizza. I haven't had pizza in a very long time. So that's what we're off to go get for Sunday dinner. And then we're gonna come back home and relax for the rest of the evening. got our pizza y'all so my total came out to like $25 for two medium sized pizzas and two drinks y'all that's one pizza at Pizza Hut I love my pizza anyway y'all so got the pizza and the pizza I got I don't know if y'all can see it so and I got the, I almost done. I got the pesto sauce. So good. And then I got a blackberry lemonade, which is also bomb. So if you go to my pizza, if you have a my pizza in your area, get the blackberry lemonade. The pizza that I got is like a create your own. So I suggest doing a create your own if you're like real, you know, particular about your pizza. So I'm about to enjoy this. And if I don't talk to y'all a little later on, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.
my god they ran out the taylor port they took i'm telling y'all i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna do some content about it they said it's like one of the best wines out right now all right so good morning y'all it is monday the 28th i think it's the end of the month yeah it is um and i went grocery shopping this morning i didn't go work out this morning because i'm gonna work out this afternoon um i'm gonna do my two a days in the afternoon i usually when i get back on my stuff i do my uh my workout stuff i do two a days because um i'm actually going to be enjoying spring break i have a three-part spring break coming up um and you know how that is like you're gonna be eating so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be um, eating really good, really, really healthy for the next two weeks. I have until I leave on the 17th. So I have quite some time to get my body in shape. The only time that I'm going to give myself grace is tomorrow because tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. So I'm going to be drinking. Um, and what other time I said? Oh, and Black Night at the rodeo, I'm going to be drinking and probably going to get me. Turkey leg is not that bad. A turkey leg at the rodeo is not that unhealthy. So I think I'll be okay, but I'm going to be drinking then too. So Black Night at the rodeo is March the 11th and tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. I'm definitely cheating. <laughs> I'm definitely cheating. So um, I'm going to take y'all along with me both events, but I'm just letting y'all know if y'all see me eating that I, uh, eating something that I'm not supposed to eat, drinking something that I'm not supposed to drink, it's because those are considered holidays to me. You know, I'm from the South. Fat Tuesday is a holiday, and Black Night at the Rodeo is a holiday for me, so I'm going to be indulging. Anyway, with that all being said, I did a grocery shopping trip this morning and got some things for the next two weeks. I bought three cans of, <laughs> I purchased three cans of C4 and they're all three different flavors. When I tell you this pink one is incredible. I told y'all about this two vlogs ago. Was it two vlogs ago or three vlogs ago? Three vlogs ago. I told y'all about this C4 right here. This Starburst pink one. Let me show y'all up close so y'all can see Y'all, this one right here, it is so good. And like I told y'all before, C4 does not give me the jitters. It just gives me, it does what it's supposed to do. It gives me energy. I used to use the C4 powder and put it in my waters, um, which is a more, I guess you would say affordable uh, option. I'm not too sure. I can't remember how much the powder is. I think the powder is like 20 or $30. And those cans, if I would have bought those separately, they were $2.50. But I bought the cans on sale. It was a coupon at HEB for, um, the coupon said three for $5. So I actually got one for free because if I would have bought two, you know what that means, 250 times two is $5. So I got one for free. So y'all already know that I'm probably gonna eventually just get cases and boxes of C4 because that's my new drink. <laughs> It's my new drink. Um, and I also limit myself with C4 because, you know, C4 is very powerful. So I only drink a C4 maybe three or four times a week, one can each day. I don't overdo it. That's with any energy drink. I just don't overdo it. Nutrition facts, just to let you guys know, you know, just in case y'all were curious, it's all zero. No sugar. None. These are all zero sugars. Zero sugar. This is the Starburst Cherry. I'm excited for this one. I might drink that one later on. And this is the Skittles, okay? So that's what I got for my workout. Next, I got me some Sriracha, okay? Because I'm gonna be making salmon bowls and tuna bowls. And yes, I make tuna bowls. So, see, this is the thing. When salmon bowls got popular on TikTok, they were already popular in my house because I was already making them because I am a sushi lover. So if you don't, if you're not a sushi lover and um, what's the other one? I think it's called poke or poke level, lover. You don't know, you wouldn't know before then what a salmon bowl was. So I was eating them things way before, but of course they showed like, you know, the uh, recipe and stuff on TikTok. So it helped everybody else that wasn't interested. So I actually just drizzle it on top of my salmon bowls or, and my um, tuna bowls. Tuna bowls are really, really good too. 
and these are health they're healthy <laughs> tuna bowls are healthy oh and on sriracha of course it's zero 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 it has less what less than one gram of carbs which is practically zero and everything else is zero I got this Chipotle mayo. I'm a fan of the Chipotle mayo at um, HEB. And they also have the hot sauce mayo. Both of them taste similar to the yum yum sauce. Okay. And this is very affordable. This was like maybe, I think it was either a dollar something. I can't remember. I think it was a dollar something. Them, that yum yum sauce that I saw was $4. No ma'am. Next, I bought me some ranch, of course, because I'm going to be making salads and stuff like that. So. Oh, and by the way, this, this, uh, Chipotle mayo, be careful. If you're calorie counting, be careful because it's 100 calories per serving. So I'm thinking one tablespoon, you know, put in a table, put in a, in a tablespoon, a spoon and drizzle it. If, if you're calorie counting, you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to eyeball it, just do a little light drizzle and you're fine. That's only if you're calorie counting. And the sugars on this one is on the uh, Chipotle mayo. The sugars on this one is zero. Zero carbs, everything else is zero. The fat though, I don't know if you're watching your fat intake, total fat is 11 grams. The ranch, this is the best ranch. I always buy wishbone. I always buy wishbone ranch. And this is 130 calories. I usually, if it's not wishbone ranch, I buy the, I buy the Brianna's. I'm probably gonna insert a picture of the Brianna's and the exact Brianna's that I buy. That one doesn't have any sugar in that one either. Um, Wishbone has one gram of sugar, but if you're calorie counting, this is a problem. This is 130 calories per um, two tablespoons, okay? So if you like to drown your salads in ranch, get the Brianna's, I'm gonna put it on the screen. That's a better alternative, but I'm not calorie counting per se because I burn a lot of calories. Me calorie counting don't make sense to me. I just why I just be on keto. I be on keto because I if I want to lean out, I just go on keto. Cause I burn calories. I burn so many calories when I work out. Calorie counting ain't nothing. That ain't nothing to me. That's baby stuff. Okay. I'm just that's just me, okay? Um, next I purchased this my dude. I've been telling y'all about this since my, one of my first vlogs on YouTube. This guy right here, best sugar-free barbecue sauce. You won't miss barbecue sauce. You will not miss regular barbecue sauce if you eat, if you eat this one. And then he has like six different flavors of barbecue sauces. He has the hickory, he has the honey, he has the smoky one, he has the regular one, he has this one, he has maple. Um, and then he also has sauces, girl. He has salad dressings. He also has marinades. They're all sugar-free. G Hughes. Take a screenshot of this. Look, two carbs per serving, gluten-free. And the nutrition facts are incredible. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. 10 calories. Two tablespoons. That's the serving size, 10 calories. Girl, you can go ham. You can eat you some ribs. You can eat just some ribs and put this on some ribs. That's what I do. I'm telling you, if I want barbecue, I will make my own barbecue and put this on here. Or if someone else makes barbecue, I will tell them to not put sauce on my barbecue and I will take this with me in my purse. I'm so serious. This is so good. You will not like any other barbecue sauce once you taste this. Do I eat other barbecue sauce? Yes, but I'm just letting you know that this is the goat. This is the goat. And like I said, two carbs per serving, two net carbs, whatever you want to call it, because it's zero sugar. Everything else is zero, 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 zero. No fat, no nothing. Just 10 calories. So that's that. <laughs> I sound so uh, energetic about this stuff because I told y'all I love fitness. I love health, okay? Also, I purchased me some seaweed. I told y'all I'm making salmon and tuna bowls, okay? So... I'm eating that. I'm gonna eat that tonight, actually, so. Purchased some spicy brown mustard. I put this in my tuna to make the tuna. So, this is good. I don't even, I only mix these two in my tuna. I don't use mayonnaise. I, I don't use mayonnaise. I use ranch and spicy brown mustard. That sounds crazy. It might sound nasty to y'all, but that's me. Or I will do this to make my tuna, and that's it, to mix it. It depends, but I do not put mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise. I, I'm not really a fan of plain mayonnaise. I'm, I'm, that's just me. 
Um, next, I brought this sparkling water. Now, remember I told y'all I like, I forgot it's called Sparkling Ice. That's the brand, but I like this one. I like this one. This is from H-E-B. This is like literally a dollar. So, I bought two of them. Okay. And then I brought three albacore tunas. Albacore is the best tuna, period. And I buy it in these little packs because that gives me the opportunity to, uh, what's the word? Make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm putting in my body. If I do one pouch, that's a serving, okay? If I do two pouches, that's two servings. Three pouches, that's three servings. See how easy it is? So you don't overeat that way. This is one serving, ladies, okay? Tuna doesn't have that many calories. It don't have no carbs, but if you're trying to lean out and look good in your swimsuit and you have a natural body and you know how your body be tripping when you eat bad, Pay attention to when you eat in your servings. Eat an actual serving. Don't double your servings, baby. Because you're already going to be putting ingredients in the tuna, right? So you add in the calories by putting ingredients in it. Then you add in a little, you know, if you eat rice in your salmon and tuna bowls, that's a problem. So I usually eat uh, cauliflower rice with my stuff. So I didn't buy any cauliflower rice because I don't really want none. I'm just going to make my salmon and tuna bowls kind of plain without cauliflower rice. All right, I'm back, y'all. Had a phone call. Anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all the veggies that I eat and the fruit that I eat, okay? So this section is about veggies and fruit. So these right here, y'all, these, these got a chokehold on me. <laughs> these got a chokehold on me. I love Brussels sprouts. I love them. I, I love them. I would eat this with the salmon. And even if, if not, I would eat this, you know, regularly, like with a protein, with some fish, or like if I'm eating just salmon, you know, the actual salmon or actual piece of chicken or whatever. But these, these got a little chill code on me. Mm-hmm. So I got three bags of that. And H-E-B, they like a dollar something. At H-E-B, they a dollar something. Uh, let's see. Oh, these, this right here. It's got a show code. Broccoli. <laughs> I bought, I think, two or three bags of broccoli. Broccoli is so good for you. And I'm not even reaching y'all. It's just so good for you. It's so good, so I got that. All right, y'all. So, these are the two, this is the only two fruits I eat. Seriously, these are the only two fruits I eat. Blackberries. Oh, I said blackberries. <laughs> blueberries okay and i put this in my yogurt my greek yogurt plain greek yogurt and then watermelon freshly cut watermelon this is good for like two weeks it's organic these are organic fruits so yeah all my food is good for two weeks and it, it might sound strange to y'all but y'all see y'all will see what all i bought <laughs> but yeah uh because if you think about it two weeks like i eat out even on a diet, I do eat out on like a Saturday or a Sunday or a Friday. Like I alternate um, a meal, like I eat out. But it's not a cheat meal, I just eat out. Like I'm on the go. Like I'll give me a salad from HEB if I'm on the go or give me something else healthy when I'm on the go if I'm eat, you know, when I'm on my diet and stuff. So two weeks goes by fast. Those five or six days, <laughs> you, you didn't eat all your groceries. So that's the two fruits that I purchased. And hold on, let me get the other stuff. All right, and I bought four Greek yogurts. I need to start buying the uh, big Greek yogurts, but the reason why I don't buy the big, anything big I don't buy, let me tell you why. It's called self-control. I know that this is one serving, each one of these. This is four days, okay? I don't really eat these every day. I limit myself twice a week. So this is two weeks, okay? This is my treat for two weeks. It might sound depriving. Yes, you can eat one every day. It's just me. I don't eat one every day. I eat one twice a week. Or I eat two type twice a week or whatever. That's just how I am. So I pick the middle of the week, like a Wednesday and Thursday, when I start getting feeling, when I start feeling a little froggy and deprived, I put like my berries in it and stuff. And sometimes in my Greek yogurts, I put almonds in it and cinnamon and berries. I put almonds and cinnamon 
or I put berries and cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I don't know if y'all recognize that in my other vlogs. Like I talk about cinnamon a lot. Cinnamon is really, really good. It's a, I forgot what it's called. I'll probably have to put it on the screen what it means when you eat cinnamon like that, but. Okay y'all, so I got me some limes, some fresh limes. I get the four for a dollar. That's two weeks. I put these, I put limes in my water and I put limes in my tea. I got two lemons. Okay. And then two cucumbers. I don't know what, yeah. It was in the fridge though. But yeah, two cucumbers. I'm about to wash all this stuff too, y'all, and put it in, bowl, in actual bowls. But these are two cu cucumbers here. And I also chopped those up in my salmon and tuna bowls. Yes. I have two giant bell peppers giant i cut those up when i am cooking actual when i'm actually cooking chicken i cut those up and put it in the oven while i'm baking my chicken when i tell y'all the house be smelling so good put some garlic and this on your chicken and then i got avocado okay ain't nothing to see here yes i chopped those in my salmon and tuna bowls and I only use, you know, half of one for one and half. So this is going to last. And also, y'all, it's been going around for quite some time, for some years, about how to preserve avocados and stuff like that. Y'all, just put, just get the good avocados. Make sure you check, you flick the little uh, part, the top part of the avocado when you're at the grocery store. Make sure it's green in the inside. And if it's green or if it's not ready or whatever the case may be. Just make sure you preserve, keep it in a bag, keep your uh, avocados in a bag, it'd be a plastic bag, and keep it in the refrigerator. I've never had a brown avocado. I've been doing this for like four or five years. I just keep them in the refrigerator. They'd be soft, they'd be ready for me to eat every time. I purchased this baby spring mix, and this is organic. Look when it expires. It expires on the 10th. That's in two weeks. That's good. That means by the 10th, this should be gone. Or I probably will still be eating on it or whatever before I leave, but it's still gonna be good. I get organic bags of um, bags of lettuce and spring mixes and stuff like that because sometimes you're not gonna gravitate to a cold salad every day. Okay, y'all, and last but not least, yes, I have other proteins, but I wanted to try to, try to put these on my channel because I got like chicken and ribs and what's the other stuff I got in here? Um, like chicken wings, chicken thighs and all that stuff. Y'all don't wanna see that. I got that from Food Town. We have a local grocery store out here called Food Town and nothing is aesthetically pleasing about their meat, but it, it's some good meat, if that makes sense. So it's not like pretty packaged or nothing like that. So I don't think y'all wanna see that. But anyway, I bought or I purchased the sockeye salmon and it's four of them in here i'm not eating salmon all week so this is four weeks of salmon i'll probably pick two days out the week and eating some salmon and then i got me some tail on cooked large shrimp so when you get this stuff like all you're doing is just warming it up in a skillet or in the oven or whatever and that's it do not overcook your shrimp i heard that when your shrimp is really really tight when it's, when it's like really curled up like this in a ball, it's overcooked. When it's in a C format, like it stays in a C, it's cooked to perfection. I mean, to perfection, to perfection. Remember, this is cooked shrimp, okay? So you don't overdo it. You just make sure it's at a good temperature. It's already cooked. That's it, that's the trick. And it's a quick and easy meal to make just heating it up. You put your little seasonings in the pan and heating it up. Whatever you wanna do, jerk shrimp, uh, garlic shrimp, garlic butter shrimp, whatever you wanna do. And just heat it up until it gets to a good temperature and that's it, don't overcook your shrimp. Good evening, like early evening, late afternoon, everybody. I am finally off work and you know what time it is. It's time to work out. So, we back on our fitness grind. Um, I got approximately, um, I wanna say like to be like a, a really good estimate, I will say 18 days to get 17, yeah, I will say 17 days 
to get my body right. Anyway, I need to fix, uh, secure my hair a little bit better. So, like I said, it's a little later in the day and um, we're literally about to go and work out. I already took my pre-workout while I'm putting my hair together. This is the uh, flavor of the C4 that I'm drinking. Well, I've already drank it. I just wanted to show you guys the zero sugar C4, zero, 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 everything zero, zero, zero. And I got the Skittles flavor today. I drank that one. Y'all, it is so good. But yeah, like I said in the earlier clips, just limit yourself when it comes to C4 or any energy drinks. I'm just, just trying to help y'all out. Like energy, natural energy comes from like just drinking water and making sure you have a balanced diet. And these are old school, ooh, sorry y'all. These are old school fitness tips. So, you know, take it from me. I've, I've learned it that way. You know, I've learned, you know, as far as making sure that you're drinking a lot of water, you're not really intaking a lot of, um, you know things that are not natural if that makes sense anyway so uh me and a friend the other day we were riding and we were talking the other day and we were kind of like um yeah we are we judge men by the cars that they drive let me explain <laughs> i don't know y'all could talk to me in the comments but to me I feel like a real man drives a truck, like a pickup truck, like, you know, those, and they could be the nice ones, like the newer Dodges, uh, Rams, the newer, um, what are those called? The Silverados, just the pickup trucks, like the real nice ones, the big ones, the F-350s, F-250s, whatever you want to call it. I feel like a real man drives those, like, that's a turn on to me. I like when a man drives a truck. I do not, and let me let me go ahead and tell y'all the categories. <laughs> when a man drives a sedan or a car like a Toyota Camry or a Honda, even the nicer cars, the nicer sedans, like an Audi sedan or Mercedes sedan, um, any of those sedan, like a sedan or just a car, that screams that you're in your 20s. I'm talking about men, just men, not women, men. It screams that the man is either in his 20s, like younger, like just got out of college. It screams, I have a girlfriend and she's in a sorority or she, I have a girlfriend and she's popular. When a guy drives like a SUV, that screams, I have a wife and kids. Or it screams, I have a girlfriend and kids. Or it screams, my girlfriend is pregnant. Or it screams that my wife is pregnant. That's just me. Or it screams that that's not just his car, that's the family car. So that's going to say that he's in a relationship. So when a guy drives an SUV, it could be any SUV. All of them. Escalade. It could be an Escalade. It could be uh, a Range. It could be any of them. When I feel like a guy is driving those vehicles, like an SUV, that screams kids. That screams family. That screams I'm in a long-term relationship and we're expecting <laughs> so that's just me on that now when a man drives a sports car that's automatically knowing that this man got a whole bunch of women that he talks to. i've dated men in all these categories like i've dated men that have drove like or drive nice cars and drove sedans and even i've dated men that drove hoopies i've dated men and i'm about to get to the next vehicle I've dated, what I'm saying is that I'm only basing these conclusions because I've dated men in each of these categories when it comes to the cars that they drive. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, when it comes to a sports car, um, I feel like he talks to a lot of women. Like he's, he's possibly single. Most of them be in a relationship, but if you're in a relationship, if a man is in a relationship and he drives that type of vehicle, he's cheap. And most women are, they're more, they gravitate to towards, ooh, Lord, the road is bad. I need to check these tires. Um, Most basic women, and if you a basic woman, oh, basic woman, if you're a basic woman that I'm talking about and this impresses you, that's fine. 
But it doesn't impress me when it comes to a man in a sports car. To me, it screams, I have a lot of women on my team. I have a lot of women on my roster. That's what it screams to me. But yeah, so the next vehicle is motor motorcycles. Well, I can't even talk. Uh, motorcycles. Um, when a man, I'm from the South. So I don't know if you guys have like those Harley Davidson or not even those, just regular motorcycles. Those scream, I have a lot of women on my team. And those scream, I'm in a relationship. Like it's, it's men of all ages that I know all the men of all ages that have motorcycles, no matter if it's like a speed bike or Harley or whatever it is, they are thoughts. I don't know if y'all got, if you guys use that word anymore, but I still use the word thought. Anyway, y'all, I was on the phone with my boo thing. So anyway, yeah, so with the with those cars i i know it sounds like real judgy and judgmental but i'm telling y'all okay look around look around and you'll see that i am completely accurate when it comes to that it was just a funny and fun conversation that me and my friend had the other day and i was like you know what we were like both looking at each other we was like we are so right we both agreed on what i just said so anyway y'all i'm about to go work out um and since we on the topic, remember I just said I got off the phone with my boo. I know y'all like to hear about people's love lives and stuff on YouTube. I can tell y'all, and y'all still ain't gonna know, but I can tell y'all this. I'm very excited. I have something coming up, like a little, uh, I don't want to look at it as a staycation because it's not in Houston, so, um, but I am going on a Bay staycation because we're still going to be in the state, but we're going to just be going hours away. And it's coming up. Um, I think it's like in the next few weeks. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, that's another reason why I'm trying to get... I mean, I'm not making it the reason, but that's another reason why I want to make sure I'm on my fitness, like on top of my stuff because partial to the vacation staycation whatever you want to call it um i'm gonna be wearing a swimsuit most of the time and you know a lot of items that i'm wearing you know how you want to impress your boo and stuff like that you're not wearing nothing that's not showing your figure so i definitely want to look good for that trip um but yeah we're gonna do something really really special and i'm so excited for that it's been a while since a man has really, really took the initiative to really, really, um, how can I put it? Look at my needs just as much as I look at his needs. It's, it's kind of like my love language is really, really getting fed. Like I'm really, and this is just so far. Like I told y'all, like I told y'all, you could be dating a representative, but he is really, really feeding my soul at the time right now, currently. So I'm excited to see what the future holds for me and him. Am I in a relationship with him? Absolutely not. Am I looking for a relationship? Absolutely not. But can it absolutely happen with this guy? I can see it happening, but we still need to be getting to know each other. We still need to be going on dates. We still need to be going. And we're long distance too. That's another thing. And, you know, I have a child. He has children. He has, he has, he has like two children or three children. But they're all like up in age or whatever. So we need to figure something out when it comes to long distance. Because let me tell y'all something about me. I am very clingy. I do not like being away from my man more than a week. I need to see my man once a week. That's just me. And the fact that he lives in another state, I don't know how this is going to happen if we get into a relationship. He has a very reputable job. Like he works... He has, he makes really, really good money. I have a really good job. Um, I work from home. Yes, I can take my equipment anywhere that I want. However, my job is based in Houston. I want to move slow in dating him too. Like, because it's either the decision needs to be made on what we're doing by, by the summertime <laughs> or a decision needs to be made over time, if that makes sense. So I don't want to move too fast with him 
you know i just want to go at a at a good pace because like i said we both have really good jobs we have our families here i don't mind moving but i have to look at the situation as i'm comfortable with um building a life with someone i've never been in love before y'all i'm i don't love this man or anything yet i'm i just like him i don't even really like him yet i just like him that's it i like him that's it um and i'm still getting to know this cat but if that is in the cards for us it's gonna take me some time it's going to take me I, I sound like a commitment phobe and I don't want to I don't want to be that way because I don't like when men are like that but because I haven't been in love before I'm very apprehensive uh, when it comes to actually doing it like actually building a bond I'm big on making sure people are building bonds because that's very important to me but when it comes to actually doing it with somebody and that's your person it's a little frightening to me i my dating life has been incredible like i have met i've met some you know some losers too i met a lot of losers a lot of men that don't you know keep their words and stuff like that but i don't really remember that all i remember is all the good guys that i have came across i've really really and i and most of them are still in my life but they're not in my life like that they don't have access to me but there's no i think it's only like one or two that is like I, they're good guys but we didn't end up on good terms but they're still good guys and that's another thing too ladies stop category uh i can't even talk stop categorizing men as trash men just because it didn't work out with you guys that doesn't make sense to me that does not make that man trash that does not make that man not worthy of anyone else if it wasn't if it wasn't worth it if he felt like it wasn't worth it with you i told y'all y'all doing these self-inflicted wounds a man gonna he gonna show you more than he gonna tell you if he finds you worth it if that makes any sense so when it comes to you you need to be the same way make sure that if nobody is serving you you remove yourself from the situation i've been down that road i already told y'all the story i that's all it took for me to learn that that one situation that all it that's all it took after that I was done with being wrapped up with a dude and what he doing to me, you know, the hurtful things that he's doing or, you know, the miscommunication that he's doing. Like, I don't have the time or the energy to be wrapped up in what a dude is not doing. I'd rather be having the time and the energy to be wrapped up on what a man is doing. So if he's doing all the right things, I'd rather pay attention to that and have fun with that then try to deal with men that don't know the concept of flowers dates all of those are basic things we especially if you're in your 30s ladies if you're in your 30s or anything uh older than that and you dating a man that don't got no concept and dates flowers paying attention to your likes and dislikes love languages and this is not even materialistic these are basic things like making sure that he pays attention to the things you say making sure he makes you feel good every day if he can't get past that and then he can't get past the concept of taking you on dates buying you flowers if that's something you want or fragrances or whatever it is or catering to your love language or telling you that you're beautiful or whatever it is if he can't get past those basic steps you need to remove yourself. Remove yourself and starve him. Starve him, not to starve him and make him realize, starve him and leave that man alone and move on to the next one. It's like I said before, it's too many men out here. And I, it's coming from me when I'm, I'm, I'm dating somebody right now. I'm not in a relationship with him, but it's coming from me to where if I know this man ever was to disrespect me, this same dude, if he ever was to try me, because they're going to try you, but if he ever was going to try me and then I tell him about himself and he gaslight me, oh baby, he's done. He's done. Once he, once I, once he tries me, 
and then I confront him about it and then he gaslights me about it or he has a disregard for my feelings oh I'm about to sneeze then there's no point of us talking because that means that's the basics you know he could be doing all the material things but if he don't have no regard to my feelings or he gaslight me there's no point of me talking to him that's how y'all need to be i'm trying to help y'all this year this 2022 y'all shouldn't be still having man problems it's too unnecessary to be having man problems this is the life is too good and life is too short to be dealing with the same dude that's inconsistent anyway enough preaching <laughs> i'm about to start on this workout and i'm gonna hit y'all back up tomorrow because tomorrow is fat tuesday and what is going on with this car right here i see some strange things every time i start driving every time every time i get in the car i just see strange things <laughs> it just it just never it never lets up houston is strange y'all when it comes to driving and cars it's like people just don't know how to operate them. That's the problem. Anyway, as y'all can see, I am on my way to run. My run for the day. Happy Fat Tuesday, everybody. You know, life is getting back to normal. Especially out here in Texas. I don't know about y'all. If y'all still locked up and stuff like that. And that's good that y'all are still being safe. You know, Texas, they don't really care about none of that. They never did care about keeping us really safe i'm just being honest like we have the most the most of our population don't even believe in the mask and, and everything which is very sad anyway with that being said um very excited to keep me a little drinky drink step out um uh, you know i told y'all in other clips that fat tuesday i give myself grace i know i'm I know I'm cheating on my diet. So, I'm definitely doing that. Right when I get off, I'm gonna go to happy hour. The place, uh, Papa Do's don't have happy hour anymore because of what's going on. Like, you know, what happened with the pandemic. They're just trying to get their coins, which I definitely understand. So, um, but the bar still be packed. I went uh, last year around my birthday to go get me a swamp thing i think I, no the, the drink that i really get is not the swamp thing i'm sorry y'all i get the dirty dirty the dirty dirty has hennessy in it but they've been putting cavassier in it because they've been running out of hennessy so hopefully tonight they have hennessy but um so i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe especially based on the uh, conversation I just, you know, talked about, about the topic that I just talked about, about the pandemic and things getting back to normal because, you know, it's still, it's still crazy. It's still crazy out here. People still are getting it. So, um, we do have out here in Houston, we have something called the rodeo. Um, it's here until March the 20th. I mean, let me tell y'all something about the rodeo. The rodeo is my favorite event that Houston throws for us like every year. We were we were without the rodeo for two years because of the pandemic. Our Houston rodeo is like the club for everybody. Like for kids, like if you're a teenager, you will see your friends. You can hang with your friends. It's a hangout. If you're an adult, you will you can you can bring a group of y'all and get drunk at the hideout or go to the concerts. If you're a baby or a toddler or a small child, the ro I mean they have the carnival, the rodeo carnival. It's it's amazing for all ages. If you're even if you're the elderly, like if you're older, older, you can still take your grandchildren and, and you know, treat that as an Audi. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I'm not trying to turn y'all on to come here because it's already packed. I'm t I don't, look. Okay, I'm putting this out there because I know y'all got to March the 20th. So if y'all want to come down here and y'all want to meet up with me and we go to the rodeo, that's fine. But don't consider moving here. It sound like I'm playing, but I'm not. Y'all driving up the prices. Y'all be coming from up north and be trying to look for a good time. And then all of a sudden, y'all y'all got a U-Haul 
uh, and move. I'm telling you, every person that I met be coming down here and all their main focus is to party. And next thing you know, the next time I talk to them, they be like, I'm moving. I'm moving to Houston, girl. Yeah. I be like, sweetie, I, nobody said to come. Nobody said to move here. <sighs> all right. So it is Tuesday after like late afternoon, like it's almost five o'clock and I'm getting ready to go and have me a little drink for Fat Tuesday. So right now I'm just getting on my lip products. I'm actually about to do a haul for y'all, like a quick haul. Y'all know I've been going to, um, uh, you know, like the stores and stuff like for the past few days. So I was like, why don't I just show them some of, just some of the items that I purchased, you know? Cause I had a vlog where I went to the Galleria and then that was the vlog before this one. I'm not liking this lip color with this look. It's too light. Okay, we bake, we bake. So I decided that striptease I did it on camera. I applied striptease on my lips. I found it finally, but uh, I applied it on my lips. Oops. And it was too pink. And as y'all, if y'all could tell, this outfit was ten dollars from Didi's. This is some. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the whole thing, but this shirt was three ninety nine or four nine. No, the shirt was four ninety nine, and the uh, leggings are three ninety nine. The leggings are in a size extra large. I can't believe I'm saying that. To me, that's just, you know, I don't wanna be an extra large. <laughs> I miss wearing mediums and larges. That's for me, that's just me personally. Uh, you know, I told y'all, that's why another reason why I'm working out, cause you know, I gained some weight in my tummy. So, area, so. And you can kind of tell in my face too. But no worries. We are changing that currently. Not now, because we're about to go cheat. But y'all know what I mean. So anyway, y'all. Uh, yeah. So the outfit. Let me put y'all down so y'all can see. This crop jacket y'all seen before. I've had it. This is this is not a part of the $10. Um, I got this from Fashion House years and years ago. I kept cutting on it. I told y'all that. Um, this shirt is from Dee Dee's. I did the tuck method right here. I'm probably gonna tuck it a little bit more right here. But this shirt is from Dee Dee's and it's not, it was not cut like this. I split the O and it says something. I don't know. Y'all can, it says like loved, worthy, chosen. It's really good. Oh, you are love, known, love, worthy, chosen, and I believe strong enough or chosen enough, but it's a good saying, but I just love the shirt because it had white in it. And I'll tell you why. Um, these leggings are from, I don't know if y'all can see the full thing. I'm trying to bring y'all down. These leggings are from DD's. They were $3.99. Right? So $3.99. And uh, these shoes, <laughs> are from shoe deal for $16.99 watches from Dee Dee's don't even work <laughs> ring miss a $1 the watch for eight was eight dollars if you're new here that watch from Dee Dee's is eight dollars um the the earrings hold on y'all pull y'all back up these earrings are from my local beauty supply place these were a dollar I, did I get it from yeah I got it from beauty supply place the other day I think I showed y'all these they're a dollar. This wig is a week old. No, not even a week old, like a few days old. And I got this from the beauty supply place. This is a synthetic wig. Okay. Oh, well, I need to fix that. Ooh, I'm glad I came on camera because I need to fix that. I would have just left. <sighs> anyway. So I definitely need to get out the house as soon as possible because it's, I know it's packed. I just know it's packed everywhere. And if it's not, that's good, right? Um, but yeah, the lip gloss that I decided to use, I need to put it in my purse. This is the Nika K New York 
Diamond Glow. I've showed y'all this before. And it's like in this iridescent, pretty, pretty color. I can't even describe the color. The liner that I'm wearing is the color or the shade Wine. I don't know if y'all can see that. And this is by Ruby Kisses Lip Liner, Ultra Easy Lip Liner. Oh, and the shade for the lip gloss is called Admirable. And that's the Nika K lip, lip gloss. This was like $1.99. This was a dollar. The lashes are from Kiss. These were like six bucks. And I forgot the style. What's the style it means? Luxury Mink number four. Okay. The purse that I'm wearing because I'm wearing white boots. I'm wearing my white purse that I got from Forever 21. Okay, and I just put this there because it has gold hardware, but I'm not wearing gold. So I just put that little silver. Okay, let me put on my glasses. Put on my glasses. Alright. So this is the final look. I'm probably going to tuck the shirt in the back underneath my bra so my back fat can show. I love my back fat. I was told by many people that I don't have much back fat. So I embrace, I embrace just the little things about myself that could be insecurities for everybody else. Um, so if that's a problem, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's just me, but I love my back fat. I don't know why I got into detail about that but anyway i came on camera so that's the outfit just wanted to show y'all what i'm wearing and anyway i came on camera to show you guys i'm gonna do a fragrance reveal and then i'm going to um you know what i'm gonna do the fragrance reveal last so so the items that i purchased from rainbow let's start with rainbow first i'm just gonna show you guys nothing but accessories today and then i'm gonna show you clothing in the next video or in the next vlog only because I'm pressed for time. And I told y'all that I'm working on my closet and my rack. So I, I'd rather just, you know, save that for another vlog so y'all can see um, the stuff that I purchased and how I'm trying to redo my clothes and stuff like that. Because I am giving stuff away. I'm giving it away. So these pair of sunshades or sunglasses, they are from Rainbow. And I'm not going to try them on. <laughs> But I'll try them on in another vlog. But anyway, these are like $4.99. They're super gorgeous. Super gorgeous. And I got the black version of those. I got these in a black color. And they remind me of a designer. I'll put it on the screen if I can remember or if I find out who it was. But it remind me of some designer frames. I just can't remember which designer it was. These are both $4.99 a piece. So $10 for two glasses. Okay, so that's pretty much the going rate for like cheap sunglasses, like $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. That's the lowest you're going to get them. The next thing I'm going to show you is a few items that I got from Bath & Body Works the other day. This is the Saltwater Breeze. And it's like more of like a springy, it's, it's like a watery springy smell. It smells so good. I don't know how to describe it, but the fragrance notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. This is the uh, hydration cream. I always buy the lotions because the lotions hold more fragrance than the sprays, in my opinion. Um, and this is part of the buy three, get three free. I got three items, my daughter got three items. Um, next, I purchased the um, Pink Pineapple Sunrise Whipped Body Butter. And y'all, this smells so good. Oh my God. And this is how it comes. It's really, really pretty. It's covered. It has a little cover on it. It smells amazing. It smells like a dream. It smells like a vacation, actually. So this is what I purchased. And let me get the last item because the last one is my favorite and I actually used it today. So hold on. All right, y'all. Ooh, it's kind of wet. <laughs> so the next item is a body scrub and it's, the, it's in the scent in the stars. It's kind of wet because I just got it from my shower, but it's in the stars, y'all. <laughs> Exfoliating body scrub. Y'all, this smells crazy. Now, I didn't put all these on. I only used this one today. This is the only item I use from the items I'm hauling today because all those smells, they don't go together. But this smells really, really good on your skin after you, and this is a body scrub. Of course, you use your regular body wash and stuff, but this is amazing. Oh my God, it projects. I didn't know I was gonna like in the stars like that, but I do, so. Last items that I'm going to haul from y'all, it's just some items I got from Miss A. 
these all these items are like a dollar dollar something so no they're a dollar these were still a dollar I think uh, Miss A only uh, do like a dollar something for like their brushes and their lashes and cosmetics. So these are some chunky hoops, gold hoops, mid size or medium size, whatever you want to call it. These are so pretty. Got these for one dollar for Miss A. I purchased these chunky studs. These are so pretty because I wear my hair long, so I need chunky jewelry. So I could be able to see it. I don't know if y'all are new here. Uh, I'll be wearing my hair long and I have a love-hate relationship with earrings. <laughs> so I love chunky earrings. So I could be able to see big earrings or chunky earrings. Earrings that make a statement if I'm going to wear them. Um, I purchased this beautiful, it's like a, it's not showing on camera, but it's like a chartreuse slash olive green ring and it is gorgeous like it doesn't go with my outfit but i'll show you how it looks see pretty pretty ring um i got that for a dollar all these items i told you again they're a dollar for miss a i got some stacked like beaded bracelets and they have like the little i don't know what you call these little charm little charms they're so pretty I should get a lot of those because I think they will stack very well. And that was a dollar. And then I got like this little like yellow gold chain. And it's really cute because it looks like one side is different and the other side is different. Okay. These, all these items were a dollar. Okay. For Miss A. So I spent like possibly like seven bucks at Miss A because I bought her some stuff. Like my, her. I brought my daughter some stuff. I purchased her some items. So. Okay, last but not least, I already took these fragrances out the box, okay? I already took them out the box, so it's not no unboxing. I already unboxed this. Follow me on TikTok, Beautiful Mind 1989 on TikTok. I already unboxed my expensive one, and the other one y'all know about. So, it was no point of me doing an unboxing with that. So, the first one that I purchased, the low end, is Ebony Wood. They finally restocked. And this is the big one, ladies. This was $30 at Zara. This is the big size. This is not the medium size or nothing like that. No tester, no small size. This is the big size ebony wood. And this was $29.90. Okay. Smells amazing. And of course, like I, I mentioned before, because I have another Zara perfume, Joe Malone partnered with Zara. So that's what ebony wood came from or they were birthed from. You know, and the other perfume that I have from Zara is birth from the Joe Malone Zara uh, collection. And last but not least, and last but not least, I can't even talk. And last but not, Lord, I'm, I'm hungry. That's what it is. Last but not least, y'all. Ah, this is my baby. I know it's not coming off on camera, right? But this is my Joe Malone London new fragrance okay and it's called vetiver and golden vanilla that is the scent um it's unisex obviously because this this is part of the intense collection that's why it's in a black bottle it is not in the clear bottle this is in the intense collection so it projects very very strongly and very very loudly but y'all know me i overspray so you gonna smell me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so this is this is the vetiver and golden vanilla and what's so special about this perfume or cologne or whatever or this fragrance is this i got my initials engraved in the top complimentary so if you guys just a tip if you guys go to joe malone i don't know if they do it at all joe malone's but if you go to joe malone and you purchase a fragrance or i'm pretty sure it depends on the amount you spend i'm not sure this was uh retail for about 130 or 138 i'm not too sure this is in my tax bracket <laughs> i'm not paying 400 500 dollars for, for no perfume so i can buy like four of these and i'll be all right so i'm definitely going to keep buying joe malone um i love Le labo and all the other perfumes that they've having at sephora and stuff i can afford those um Kay Ali, i still haven't tried hers 
um, but I need to smell that in store and they not giving us the opportunity to smell them in store. I haven't seen them. So if y'all know any place where I can smell K. Ali, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, this is my fragrance. And y'all, I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> I, I really, I really need to get out of here. So I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And yes, I will be taking y'all with me because we about to enjoy and indulge in that Tuesday festivities as best we can. Because it be crowded out here. <laughs> So anyway, y'all, yeah, make sure y'all got you guys uh, follow me on Instagram at beautiful mind 1989, TikTok beautiful mind 1989. Um, make sure um, that if you you know have any questions or you want to reach out to me, you could definitely send me a DM on Instagram. I do not buy it. I am not mean. Um, I'm here for you guys, um, and I could do any. I will do anything. Um, you know, just to kind of empower y'all. I'm not, you know, a negative Nancy or anything like that. So you could definitely reach out to me and never be scared to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I don't know why I'm saying all that because I think y'all could catch that vibe in my vlogs. But I'm about to go have me some fun on a Tuesday. Sounds weird. But I will catch y'all in the next vlog. And Come on with me. Just come on and, and grab you uh, some drink and a crawfish. Uh, a crawfish. Grab a drink and some crawfish. And enjoy your Fat Tuesday. I don't know. Well, why I said that? Because it's going to be uploaded after. Child, just enjoy the rest of this vlog. Bye. <laughs> Somebody gotta stop.